Hello, welcome to today's CMC Markets Commodity Snapshot with myself, Jasper Lawler. Today we're going to be talking about gold. Now this should be particularly interesting because next week we have the US non-farm payrolls unemployment report and of late gold has been one of the, the biggest traders of this report. Now gold makes for interesting trading just because it trades as a store of value and a safe haven asset, uh, but it also trades just off its own supply demand dynamic as well as the, the technical factors like everything else. So we're going to be having a look at, uh, having a look at some of those, those today. Now, a big theme in the markets at the moment is the ongoing tensions between Russia and Ukraine. And what you may have noticed is that the price of gold will typically move higher on days when the tensions escalate. So any chance of military intervention, uh, any imminent chance of war, gold is flying higher as a um, safe haven asset. So that's part of a, a larger theme that we've seen in gold since the start of this year, where the price has is, is rallied from its lows around 1200 up to almost 1400 just the other day, really on, on those safe haven flows away from emerging market economies. Now, while the emerging markets are going to be a continuing theme and something we have to keep looking at for the price of gold, the other big theme for gold is the quantitative easing and the tapering of that program from the US Federal Reserve. Since they announced the tapering program, the price of gold has, has collapsed from close to $2,000 an ounce down to the, the aforementioned 1200 And so every time there's an improvement in US economic growth, and it looks like the tapering is going forward, whereby the central bank will be reducing how much money they're, they're flooding into the economy, how many dollars they're flooding into the economy, there's just less need for gold uh, to hedge against that, that devaluation of the US dollar. So the, the closer we get to raising rates in the US, the less need there is for gold. If we see a backtrack from this tapering program, whereby they pause the tapering, or perhaps even start increasing the amount of money they're adding to the economy again, then that will be very good for gold. And that's anything from, that, from, the, uh, from the central bank uh, of the US, or anything implying slower growth in the US, generally at the moment, that's, that's positive for gold. And that's, that's the other big factor right now. Now there's also the, the physical supply and demand side of the equation. Um, the, the demand is quite strong. The demand for the physical gold is strong, particularly from central banks and particularly from uh, the emerging market central banks, namely China. And recently we saw a large purchase from Iraq. And more recently we saw a large purchase from Russia. So there is physical demand. And uh, that's not just from central banks. That's also from the, the people of China and also India particularly heading into wedding season, that's, uh, that's an ongoing source of demand for the actual physical gold. Now on the supply side, what a lot of people are referring to is the fact that it does cost miners a certain amount of money to get the, the commodity out of the ground. And what a lot of people have, have talked about is $1,000 per ounce. If the, if the price dips much below that, then it may just not be worth the miners actually digging the gold out of the ground so, uh, and actually mining it. So, Remains to be seen if that is the case, but that could be a possible support to the price, um, just that, that underlying ability of the miners to, to dig it out. Now, having a look at the technical side of things, let's bring up this daily chart for gold. Now, as you can see, the price action of late has been not too positive for the precious metal here. It's been somewhat of a collapse since the price got close to 1400. Um, there are some, some mixed bullish and bearish signs. On this daily chart, it looks fairly bearish, but that may not be the full picture. Um, one thing you can see here is that the price is right next to the 200-day moving average on this daily chart. That could be supportive. The price has dipped just below it, but the, uh, the price just below there is also the 50% retracement of this up move that started at the beginning of the year. And it's also the, the round 1300 mark. Um, which is roughly where we are right now, just a bit below. So there's a bit of possible support to the price. And if we flip over to this weekly chart for gold, then we can see that perhaps the picture is not so negative. What we're looking at is potential longer term double bottom at that 1200 number. Um, if we can stay above this 200 day SMA, it's positive. Um, there is a price trend line down from those November 2012 highs. And that's been pretty decisively broken. And this weekly RSI is above 50. Um, 
the, the main negative thing that we're looking at on this weekly chart, though, is this weekly bearish engulfing candlestick pattern. And, and that typically points, points to some short-term bearish action. But we have seen a bearish week this week so far. And so that could be an end to the, the bearish action should this support that we're, we're testing at the moment hold up. If not, then we could be looking at a full retracement down to the 1200 just suggesting that we're in a sort of $1,200 to $400 range. So that's the picture on gold. Have a look out for this non-farm payrolls unemployment report from the US next week. That's going to be a big driver of the gold price and many markets going forward. So good luck trading. Thanks again. My name is Jasper Lawler and this is CMC Markets Commodity Snapshot.